Sabira has been abandoned by her husband and his family. She didn't want to give her real name, but her only crime is that the child she's expecting any day now is a girl. They said to me, we'll kick you out on the street if you don't have an abortion. But I said, I don't care, I'm keeping the baby. Sabira's case is extreme, but not unique. Many Azeri women choose or are pressured into abortion simply because they are having a girl. Azerbaijan has one of the highest selective abortion rates in the world. According to the government, in 2014, the ratio of girls to boys born was 100 to 115. There are lots of reasons why in Azerbaijan selective abortion is quite common. This region culturally is quite male dominated and there are other pressures. Families are getting smaller, which means fewer boys. And as the prenatal technology to identify gender becomes more widely accessible, demand for selective abortion grows. Lawmakers say they're doing what they can to tackle the problem. All women have the right to have an abortion. But to protect against sex selection, we wanted to ban abortion after three months without a doctor's consent. I'm one of the biggest supporters of educating people because the law doesn't always solve the problem. Meriban, who works with vulnerable women, says the problem runs deep. I think society needs to change its perception of women. The understanding that a girl brings evil to the world needs to change. And overall, the perception of a woman's role in society has to change. The United Nations warns that as well as a dangerous population imbalance, huge numbers of missing women in society could lead to more prostitution, human trafficking and gender violence. Those may be the challenges facing the next generation of Azeris. Robin Forrestier-Walker, Al Jazeera, Baku.